this is Stuart Grimes here over at Job Pro Central. I'm going to take you through our integration with um, QuickBooks. Um, here on the screen, I'm showing you a supplier um, for whom we have a purchase order. I'm just going to go into the purchase order here. As you can see, we've already received our stock on this purchase order, and under the suppliers tab or the supplier invoices tab, you can see here that we have also received our supplier invoice. So what this means is we go to Options, Sync Options, and Account Sync. And this is our sync panel with QuickBooks. So it has picked up the fact that we have some purchase invoices here that need to be pushed across to QuickBooks. Uh, we have a chance to review them here and click them to approve them. Um, if there's a long list there, you can actually click the top of the column just to approve them all. Um, once I've done that, what's happened is We've looked across to QuickBooks and ascertained that we do not have a supplier account over there for this particular supplier. So we need to sync that supplier account first. So if I click on sync here, sync suppliers, yes. That's just because I haven't got fan maker sharing on. Process complete. So our supplier has gone across. So now when I click to sync the purchase invoice, that too will go across. To QuickBooks. So now we come back over to um, QuickBooks. I'll just flick over here. Go into our suppliers. And you can see we've got our Brennan's Hardware new account created. And the bill that we just pushed across as well. Okay. So now if we actually wanted to go and pay that bill. Um, we could simply pay bills, select this bill to pay, and click on pay selected bills. Thank you. Now, if we go back to our Job Pro, and if we again go to the sync panel, and because the payment was created out of the accounts package, we can actually sync on the payments panel here and it will pull back the payment made to the supplier into Job Pro. We can see that confirmed here in our log panel. So if we go back here now to our supplier invoice, you can see that it's been paid 29.40. Back to QuickBooks for a minute, just to review the transaction that we've just posted across. Um, if we go to reports and we run a quick P&L, you can actually see the Brennan's Hardware transaction there that's in the, uh, the P&L under cost of goods sold. And from the taxes perspective, then, if we actually, it's actually the VAT report in this instance of QuickBooks as it's a UK instance we're, we're looking at, VAT detailed report. Let's change that to this month to date. Again, you can see the Brennan's Hardware transaction there getting picked up in the VAT report. It's important to note as well that um, no stock transactions actually take place over in QuickBooks. It's just purely the, the line items that are getting moved across and classified under the, the relevant nominal code, such as cost of goods sold. Typically, a user of the integration will journal across their stock valuation at a month end to basically get their margins correct. So now let's turn over to the sales side. If we go back to Job Pro, and we go back to uh, our customer account here. You see there's an invoice in here that uh, I'd done previously. Here's the invoice line there. If we now move over again to the sync panel, we can see that we've now got a, a sales invoice here that needs to be synced across. As soon as I select that for syncing, again, the system is gonna look across to QuickBooks and realize that uh, we don't have that product currently in QuickBooks and we don't currently have that customer account there as obviously it's the first time we've sold this product and it's the first time that we've dealt with this customer. So again, we need to sync the product initially. And we need to sync the customer account to create that over in QuickBooks. And then finally, we need to push across the sales invoice. So obviously the next time we make a sale to Charles Linden, uh, we won't have to create the account a second time. Likewise with the, the product. Um, that's the process complete. If we now flick back across to QuickBooks and come out of our suppliers and into our customers, we'll be able to see our new 
customer there, Charles Linden Limited, and there's the invoice that we just pushed across. So let's process a receipt from this particular customer. Let's give it a check number here, 405. The amount received, we'll receive the full amount, 30 euros. And we need to select the line item here to pay that line item off and save and close. And yes. Now, if we go back over to our Job Pro, and we go back into our Sync panel, and we click on Sync Receipts, we can see the receipt for the 30 euro has come across. Okay, and if we go back now to our, this is our sales invoice, we click on the receipts tab here, we can see the receipt that's come across with the reference from QuickBooks. So this completes the review of QuickBooks.